Hi, my name is Mick, and today we're going to look at the Samsung NX500 after the version 1.10 update. This update uh, made several improvements, but the most important, in my opinion, would be uh, the improvements in three areas. Number one, AF speed and low light. Number two, AF accuracy and backlight. And number three, the raw buffer um, depth. So in this video, I'm going to show you the improvements in these three areas. Let's start with the raw buffer because that's very easy to demonstrate. Here I have um, the NX500. I've set it to uh, continuous burst and I've switched the ISO for now to ISO 100. The compression is lossy. So let's see how many shots we can get. I got 17 shots. Um, so now we're going to look at the um, AF uh, accuracy and backlight conditions. Earlier this afternoon, um, I took some tests in um, backlit conditions and uh, I took maybe like 15 or 20 shots and I was surprised to find that all of them uh, except one were in focus um, and that is a significant improvement over the previous performance where it used to focus primarily on the background or on the, uh, the rim light or the rim lit edges. Of the subject. Um, in this case, uh, the focus was um, on the face, and I double checked to see if the camera was actually focusing on the rimlet edge, which happened to be the same as the face. It, it wasn't. It was really the focus was really, really on the face, and in fact, the rimlet edge was some, was uh, sometimes not in focus. <coughs> now, um, let's look at the AF speed in uh, low light. For that, uh, I'd like to show you a video of the test that I did. So in this test, uh, we're going to check out uh, three subjects. All of them are black on a black background. And if you've tried the NX500 before or the NX1, you know that those would have been hard to uh, focus on. Um, the camera would use to... Uh, they, it used to hunt all the time and sometimes it wouldn't even lock focus so let's see uh, how the new firmware performs so just to give you an idea of the, how bright uh, the ambient lightings uh, ambient lighting conditions are um, on aperture mode at f3.5 I'm getting a reading of uh, sorry, 25,600 ISO at 1 over 10. Uh, and this is with no exposure compensation and setting it to zero. So that's how dim these conditions are. Um, I'm going to use a zone AF. That's my AF area mode. Uh, and my uh, I'm on uh, continuous AF. Um, I'm also going to use for uh, my focus priority will be set to uh, focus shooting speed priority, which will allow it to use only uh, phase detection. And let's see how it does. So I'm going to start focusing now. Uh, so it hunted a bit, but um, I think it's a substantial improvement from before. And I'm going to use a trick that I sometimes use, which is that when there's a, a bright area, like, like the zipper over there, I use uh, selection AF um, and I just choose a smaller area and just choose that smaller highlight. So now I'm gonna uh, hold down the shutter button 
Oops, excuse me. Now I'm going to hold the shutter button now. It's a lot faster. Well, uh, it's kind of hard to see on the screen, uh, the monitor, but uh, yes, it's in focus. Both, both of them are in focus. Um, now let's try the, the eyeglass case. This is a harder target because the, unlike the, the camera bag, there's no bright zipper. The closest thing I would focus on is probably the, the letter O there, but let's try first uh, just a regular zone AF. So I'm going to start focusing now. So still not very fast, but uh, it's a lot quicker than before, I, I think, or n not a lot, but maybe noticeably quicker. And the image is indeed in focus. And let's try again um, with selection AF. I'm going to choose that letter O. Well, that one did not look like it was uh, noticeably faster, but uh, well, I guess some, it's worth giving it a shot uh, for some darker subjects. And now I'm going to try the the wallet. The wallet is very difficult to focus on because there's nothing bright um, around it. So let's see anyway if it can focus. Well, it was still able to focus. And yes, it is indeed in focus. Uh, let's see if uh, selection AF is any faster. Uh, brightest part is looks like the slight specular reflection on the edge. Still haunting. Nothing happened. It wasn't able to acquire focus. In fact, it's still hunting right now. So it switched back to um, zone AF. So let's try again. So it was able to focus. Let's see. Yes, once again, it's in focus. Now, as you notice, uh, I've been using the the kit zoom and um, my hypothesis is that the speed in, um, in uh, low light conditions is highly dependent on the maximum aperture of the lens. Uh, I want to also test the uh, AF performance at f5.6 so right now I've zoomed it um, to 50 millimeters so the maximum aperture at that focal length is 5.6 and let's see how well it can focus first the camera back I'm going to try to include the zipper in there slower than at f3.5 but it was able to do it which is uh, remarkable compared to uh, wh what it used to be now the eyeglass case still at 15 millimeters and I'm gonna focus on the logo right let me switch to a different AF first just so we're not cheating now it's, it's out of focus I'm gonna press the shutter now and it was able to do it and now the wallet first let's put it out of focus and now we're going to focus on the wallet at f5.6 
and it was able to do it. Uh, yes, it's in focus. And let's check out the eyeglass case. Not quite in focus, but close enough, I guess. Um, and this one's the camera bag. Uh, yes, it was in focus. Let's try the eye eyeglass case again. Let's change the focus first. And now switching back to the eyeglass case. Yeah, it's in focus. I mean, not perfect, but close enough. I have here uh, the uh, 22.8. I'm going to switch to this lens so you can see if there's any difference. By the way, I glued the lens cap, um, the rear lens cap uh, back to back to make it easier to switch lenses. Let's try again. So same test. Um, right now it's not in focus and I'm gonna press the shutter now. A lot faster than the kit zoom and um, again I think that has to do with the maximum aperture. So I'm just using now. I'm switching now to the uh, eyeglass case. Um, let's focus first on a different target, just to make sure we're not uh, cheating. So now it's out of focus. So now I'm gonna press the shutter. Again, pretty fast. I mean, a lot faster than before. And finally the wallet. I'll, first let me change the focus. So now it's out of focus and I'm going to focus on the wallet. Now. And yep it's in focus. Uh, and if you're wondering uh, the previous shot was also in focus as was the camera bag so as you can see from the tests uh, there was an improvement in AF performance in low light conditions it's not as fast as in some other cameras such as the A6000 but it was still a noticeable improvement where it, whether this is uh, fast enough um, depends on your individual circumstances as for me i think uh, it's a significant improvement and it makes me confident enough to bring the nx500 to a uh, low light situation um, especially if i have it paired with a uh, faster lens such as the 22.8 but even with the kit lens um, based on the test results um, I think it's worth uh, giving a shot uh, trying it out in low light I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, please check out our blog thanks